Buck hour tents, tarps, piles of trash all cleared out after neighbors complained about two homeless camps. Police in Salisbury went with code service officers to clean up this mess you see here and try to get the folks living out there some help. Our WBTV's David Wisnett was there with police and only David was there with police as they went back to one of those camps to make sure no one was living there. So David, did they have fair warning that this was coming? They tell me that the residents of these homeless camps were given three day warning to get the things that they wanted and get them to take out because they said they were going to have to leave these homeless camps. One of the camps was right behind me. This is Bendix Drive and if you can see that area has completely been cleared off and that's where seven to ten people were living until about a week ago. This morning, crews from the city cleaned up the last piles of items cleared out from a homeless camp that was set up here on public property. All that raw material, uh, the, the, the shopping cart material that was left over there, all that went to the landfill. A few miles away on Jake Alexander Boulevard, it was private property that had to be cleared out so the owner could begin developing the land. We came out to just investigate to see if there was any um, homeless in the area. Once we did so, we identified some homeless out here. Um, then once we identified them, we actually made contact with them, talked with them about resources that we can connect them to. The tents and tarps show where another seven or so people had been living. Those who left took what they wanted and just left everything else behind. We've now cleared the property of all its habitants. Uh, what we'll do next is start working with the property owner on cleanup. I spoke with a homeless couple who did not want to be identified. Well, sometimes we have to eat out of a garden can. They did not live in either of the two camps that were cleared. Even so, they say they don't like that the city is doing this. Everything that people have, you know, being homeless, it's all they got. And, and the city comes in, takes it all. So what are they supposed to do then? They got to get out here and try to get more stuff, like blankets, tents, uh, food, uh, tarps. Yeah, and it's... It's not fair. But officials say fair warning was given and that efforts have been made to provide help to those in need. Sadly, a lot of them pack up and go, but there is, I can't give you a percentage, but it's like um, it's, it's, it's a give and take. So some campsites you go to, a lot of them do ask for the resources. And you can see that the police department does have a homeless liaison and he goes out and speaks to the homeless folks in these camps. He talks about the partnership police have with Rowan Helping Ministries. That's a local homeless shelter. They provide help for housing, food, clothing, employment, treatment, and rehab. And yet some say they're just not interested. Reporting live in Salisbury, David Wisnett, WBTV, on your side. The police department does have a liaison. David, thank you. Uh, rattled awake.